This is a video about using the color picker and LED wash lights in QLC+. The community theater that I worked in, we were in the process of replacing our incandescent wash lights with LED wash lights. And the reasoning behind that was that we were kind of limited with incandescent wash lights as far as how many colors we could put up on the floor in any given show. So for instance, say I had 12 incandescent wash lights and it took at least six of them to wash the entire floor. Well, since I only have 12, then I can only use two different colors during the show. If we install the LED wash lights, which are RGB, red, green, blue, then we can have an infinite uh, amount of uh, colors changing during the show. We didn't have to worry about, okay, well, we only have two gel colors that we can use for this show. Now keep in mind, LED washes are going to be different looking from gel washes. And I know some people who are traditionalists really like the gel washes. So you do got, have to keep that in mind. It is a different look to it. And you have to play around with it to get, if you're really a traditionalist as far as gel colors do, you're going to really have to play around with the LED lights to get them look to look closer like gel colors. Okay, remember, it's a totally different process. Incandescent lights, you put a gel in and the gel is subtractive. So the gel filters out wavelengths of light to get the color. So if you put a blue gel in, it's filtering out all the other wavelengths of light except the blue, which it's letting pass through, which gives you the blue color. So you're taking a white light and filtering it. Whereas an LED, red, green, blue, you're adding colors together, much like you would add paint together to get, to get a specific color. So it's a totally different process. So anyway, with that in mind, let's take a look at what I have here. So I just set up a quick rig. I have eight LED wash lights here. These are uh, Blizzard, made by Blizzard Lighting, LB Hex. They have an 11 channel mode and a six channel mode. So I set them up to keep it simple in six channel mode, which is red, green, blue, amber, white, and ultraviolet. Now what's very, very important here is that you also create groups. So this is gonna make it quicker to program. So what I've done is gone through and created a red channel group. So it's the red channel on all eight lights, the green channel, the blue, the amber, the white, and the ultraviolet. If you haven't watched my video on creating groups, I'll show you really quickly. Let me just take the ultraviolet group out quickly. And I'm going to add my ultraviolet back in. Make sure that this box down here is checked. Apply changes to fixtures of the same type and mode. I checked my ultraviolet box. Now it checks the ultraviolet box on all eight fixtures for me. And up here, just type in UV. So I have an ultraviolet group. Click OK. So it's that easy and that quick to create groups. Now let's take a look at we're going to create some scenes or some functions. So I'll go back over here and I'm going to call this pink. So I'm going to set up my wash lights very, very quickly here to give me a pink color. Here's my groups over here. I'm going to select red, green, blue, amber, and white. Then I'm going to go to my channels groups, click on that, and I'm going to select here my color picker. Now with the color picker, this screen will come up here. This bar over here is equivalent to your intensity, so I'm going to slide this all the way up, and you'll notice that the red, green, blue comes up. Now, the color picker will only be doing, dealing with the red, green, and blue channels. You will have to adjust the amber and the white channels, uh, channels independently. Um, we can do that as a group fixture, though, here. So um, your white, bringing up your white channel is going to help wash out the color a little bit. Bringing up your amber channel is going to make your amber channels a little more intense and your red channels and your oranges and yellows a little bit more intense. You can play with that. That's probably going to, while well, bringing up an energy, uh, amber channel during a bluish or greenish is going to probably wash them out a little bit. Now, one thing that's very important here, I want to point this out. We're going to want to uh, put some of these colors into our custom colors and I'll show you why real quickly. So before we create our color, I'm just going to click over here to select this square. And you can see that a custom color that I had previously determined bounced up here. But now I'm going to use my color picker. I have my intensity up. Left and right is going to be your hue. And if you watch the hue box here, you can see that changing. Left and right. You can see the hue changing. Up and down is going to be saturation. So if you're thinking like a photograph, 
if you've ever, you ever used the photo uh, editing software, when you increase the saturation, you're increasing the intensity of the color channels in that photograph. So as we slide up, we're, in, we're increasing the intensity of the color channels. So getting deeper color. When we come down here, we're going to be more in the pastel colors because it's more washed out. But let me pick out my pink channel here. There's my pink color that I want. And I'm going to say Add to Custom Colors. It's Add and click OK. Now the reason I did that, added to custom colors, is this. If we go back in and edit it now, I can go back in and adjust my colors here just by doing the sliders. And another important point here, when I'm adjusting these, I try to do these in a dark theater when we don't have other rehearsals and that going on. Because I'm not going to be really looking at my color picker colors because then I'm looking at a monitor. I want to see what these colors actually look like on stage. And then I'll save them. And then after I've looked at some rehearsals, I may be saying, well, that pink color that I chose is a little too bright pink. I need to um, change that a little bit. Then I might go back in and edit it. But the reason we save that as a custom color, I'll show you why real quickly. Say I pick my pink scene here that I did with my color picker. When I click on color picker, it takes all the colors back out again. So I've lost them. Okay. So I can bring them back real quickly by clicking there. Now we're back. So that's why you want to save it to custom colors. I don't know if it's a glitch with QLC Plus, but as you can see now, all my colors have been taken out. I don't have any colors. So I'd have to go back, click the color picker, click this, click OK. Now my colors are back in. So anytime you do access that color picker, it knocks everything out. So make sure you save things to your custom colors. Let's go create another one here. I'm going to do another scene. I'm going to call this Aqua. And again, I red, green, blue, amber, and white. Go to my groups channel. Go to my color picker. I'm going to select the second box here so I can save this custom color there. Let me go into my aquas here. And I just want kind of a pale aqua color. So I'm going to do something around there. Add to custom colors, that's in, and then select OK. So now we've got our pink and our aqua. Now, something that you can do here, just as a point, if you're trying to match gel colors, what I've done in the past is pulled up some of my gel colors and looked at the uh, red, green, blue values of them, and then typed them in and then saved them. And I'll save these in a folder here. So I'll do a template with QLC Plus that I'll start with every show with. And in that template, I'll have a folder with all my favorite uh, LED colors that I've come up with. So that makes it a lot quicker to program shows. And I do have a source here. And I'll, I'll put a uh, link to this in the description below. So I was using Rosca Lux. And this source here is great. They have Lee colors and they have Rosca Lux. You can take a look at it. So uh, a typical color that I might use is a uh, Rosca Lux 4, which is a medium bastard amber. And here are my RGB values, 255143354. Over here is the percentage value. So this would be 100% red, 56.1% um, green, 21.2% blue. Okay. But so I'm just going to do medium bastard amber R4 at 255143354. So let me go back to my program for a moment. Create a new scene. Medium. Bastard. Amber. I can put in R4 for Roush Lux 4. Bring this up. Red, green, blue, amber, white. All right, so medium bastard amber. I'm going to go to my channels, channels groups here. I'm going to go to my color picker. Remember that we're going to do a custom color square here. I'm going to do my 255, 154, 54, click OK. There I have my medium bastard amber color put in. So you could go through and you can put in all these Roscoe Lux colors and I would just save them to a folder that you could access to. Just make sure again when you do this that you do save them as a custom color because when we access this we know that it knocks everything out. But this is a real quick way to go in and then create some colors. Hopefully this will make this a lot easier for you to program and a lot quicker for you to program.